Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Wit here again with another video. Today I actually did a recreation on a makeup look so this is not my own idea. Um, I was watching a fellow YouTuber here on Instagram, um, YouTube, and her name is I Am Lil Red, and I loved the look so much that I was like, I have to recreate it. So I did just that. Now, in her video, she showed two lip options. I went with the bolder one, but you could always replace this lip with like a pink gloss type look, but I wanted to do bold. I wanted to do like a bold, bright pink. So I did just that for you guys. I love the way this look came out. I love pink eyeshadow. I freaking love pink eyeshadow. So I was like, of course, I'm gonna have to redo it. I'm gonna link her video down below so you can see the original, but I am in love. It's pretty so over there. I am in love with you. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys other than thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, please leave a comment. Now, I like I like responding back. I actually like I actually I actually like it, and I really really do like when you guys leave comments. So please leave comments. Um, share the video, tell a friend about it, and make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I already filled my eyebrows in off camera as usual, and I'm gonna be starting off with this Estee Edit lip gloss. Okay, so now we're gonna start by priming our eyes. I'm gonna be using my NYX shadow base, and I just use my fingers. Okay, and then to give myself some extra base, I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Stick in Pure White. I'm just going to pop that on like that. Like that. I'm just going to pop that And just spread that. And this is just so that I will have like extra, um, an extra boost because I'm going to be using um, some pinks today and some reds on my eyes. I want to make sure that you pat this really well into the skin. Cause if you don't, cause it is a cream, it'll tend to like start leaving like lines of creasing. So I make sure I pat really, really well into my lid with my finger. All right, so I'm gonna be going into this shade right here, and this is by Coastal Scents, and that is, and it's called um, Passion Fruit Pink, and I'm gonna be using this Morphe M441 brush, and we're just gonna put this in our like crease area. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this um, Sephora Pro Crease Brush and I'm just gonna blend out those edges. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit more because I felt like we were a little far back. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into that pink shade because of the blending that we did, I have to go back and apply more on to kind of blend the color away. Okay, so for now that would do. Then I'm gonna be taking another Coastal Shint shade and this is 
coastal scent shade. I'm gonna be taking another coastal scent shade and this is called Pomegranate Red. And I'm gonna be using my Morphe M330 brush to apply this. So we're gonna swirl it in there. And we're gonna place this in the outer V. Okay, so I've applied, but we have to go back and blend because that clearly looked crazy. And I'm using my Sephora brush to blend this out. And I want to make sure not to drag it too close in because I don't want it to cover up that pink. I just want the outer edges to be a little bit more like fiery pink. That makes sense. And then I'm just going to go back into my pink shade, the first one that um, I used, and just kind of place that right here so it's still, still seen. Okay, and now we're just going to be using glitter on our lid. I'm going to be using the Liquid Sugar by Eye Candy for my glitter adhesive. And then I'm going to be taking Makeup Geeks Halo. This is one of their sparklers that they came out with this past winter. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go back into that pomegranate red shade again. My same brush, and just emphasize its presence yet again. Lashes today, I'm gonna be using the Slayla lashes um, that Makeup Shayla and Flutter Lashes created together. And of course, I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs um, mascara to like coat my lashes before I put my falsies on. I don't know if I want to put on liner. Like, if I want to just kind of like line them, I don't think I need it. I mean, I have liner sitting here, so I might as well just kind of like line only right where I put it, just to give it a little bit more definition. I'm going to be using this NYC um, liquid liner. Now, we're going to get started on our face. Lately, well actually ever since I hauled this, I have been using this as a face primer. I don't even use like a regular face primer. So this is the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Steady Spray in the scent peach. It smells so divine. Now I just want to go to like Sonic and get like a peach slushy. And I'm gonna take this NARS um, Laguna Liquid Bronzer and put this all over my skin. It's almost gonna look really, really like dewy. And for foundation today, I'm gonna be using my Tarte um, Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation in the shade Deep Sand. And you guys, this is my foundation, so I literally just go in with my finger right here on top on the cap part and just place it. And 
And if you guys have watched like reviews on this foundation, you will see everybody using like mattifying primers. I don't do any of that. Like I really don't think I need it. And I have normal skin and it doesn't, it doesn't get oily on me. So I was like, I'm not doing all that extra stuff. Like, I don't know. It, it works for me. So, and, and to blend this out, I'm going to be using this, um, um, beauty sponge that I got from BH Cosmetics. This is pretty big now. Like this is this is huge. Okay, and I'm not gonna be setting my face with any like face powder. I just felt like it was unnecessary because when you think about it, you do your under eye concealer, you use setting powder to set it, right? And then you put your blush, you put your contour, you put your highlighter, it's all powder. So I was like, it's just overkill using like a face powder and then doing all that other stuff. So I just kind of stopped doing that. And I also stopped doing that because I like how I just get more of a dewy look by not using so much powder. So I'm also going to be using this um, Sephora concealer. <sighs> I'm still trying to figure out if I like this concealer. I think the only thing I don't like so far is the applicator because I feel like I have to keep dipping in because it only picks up on this area right here. And I this is the shade 13 um, Cream Caramel. Take this side of the beauty sponge and yes. And now we're gonna go ahead and set our under eye concealer so we'll go on this and I'm going to be using my Sephora Pro number no. 79 brush to do this and I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder Okay, and now I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs um, highlighter and blacker to um, line my waterline. It was in a tight line as well. This is pretty gross. It's like super gross looking. I'm gonna take that pink shade again. And I'm gonna be using this pencil brush by Morphe and this is the M431. And then we're gonna go into the pomegranate red and we're gonna get this as close to the lash line as possible. And then when I'm gonna clean the brush out a little bit, I'm gonna just use my um, Veramona switch. And then we're just gonna blend, like buff that out actually. So it doesn't need like just two lines. Now to contour, I'm gonna be using my Morphe M402 contoured angle brush. And I'm gonna be using my Makeup Geek contour powders and I like to just kind of dip the brush into both of them like that do my little duck face now for blush for blush I'm gonna use my 
Morphe E4 and um, what is this thing called? I think I'm gonna mix Nars Matahari with this um, Inglot blush. And this Inglot blush is number 53. So I'm gonna mix Matahari by Nars and a little bit of in that Inglot blush because it's so pigmented. And for highlighter today, I'm going to be using my JD Glow Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Beyonce. I purely got this highlighter just because it's named Beyonce, but it is a really pretty highlighter. So now I want to intensify my highlighter. So I'm going to take my setting spray and set the whole face. And I'm going to be using my Becca highlighter in um, rose gold. And then I'm just going to take my Marc Jacobs mascara and put mascara on my bottom the lash line. Gloss off. For lipstick, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Liquid Lipstick, and it's happening. 